He said, send me your budget. <laughs> I said, okay. So that then I knew I had him right. and got him back down here. But that's, that's it in a nutshell. That's a great. It sounds like you've either introduced him at some nice meetings, uh, knowing that, uh, or he's introduced you, because <laughs> you sure know the uh, yeah. hearing, yeah. hearing you speak that. We, yeah. we had him as a guest down at the Grand Dunes one day for a yeah. golf tournament that they've been uh, sponsoring for years for the Mir uh, Make a Wish. Uh -huh. We'd love to get him back at other time. We're going to yeah. use you as an intro there. Uh, he's a great. <laughs> well, uh, I, know, I got his history down pretty good. But prior to coming to North Myrtle Beach, though, he was uh, he really did a great job in Anne Arundel County. He was a budget officer right. up in Maryland, up in Maryland. Anne Arundel County. Yeah. yeah, and that's where we got him from. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you shared that with us because a lot of folks probably don't think of the significance of Grand Strand Water and Sewer Authority. Very and, of course, uh, obviously they helped recognize you and your service in, in naming the wastewater plant on the north end of the county, the George R. Vereen Wastewater Treatment Plant. I'm sure that was a big honor. It was. I'm it sure was very special. There. The board was very kind to me. The Horry County Transportation Committee has got a lot going on that people probably may or may not know about either. Well, what's that all about? Well, a lot of people don't know, and it's okay. Uh, we very quietly distribute sea uh, fund tax dollars, 2.7 cents per gallon of gas that's pumped in O'Ree County comes back to O'Ree County Is that right? through that the South much? Carolina Highway Department, yes. And we have a good board over, over there. We meet almost monthly. As mm -hmm. the uh, requests come in, c come in, we meet uh, to take care of their request, and we do a lot of projects with uh, Ori County. Uh, we joint venture projects with them and with the South Carolina Highway Department. They have matching programs, oh, and the Ori County Transportation Committee gets involved, and we can take $500,000 and get a million dollars worth of resurfacing on a match program. Wow. Using the tax That's dollars and, and with the support of, of the board that we have, uh, we do that. Uh, but we we fund some new paving. Uh, we were re really involved right now in Water Tower Road and the road going into the back of Barefoot, working in conjunction with the developer, mm -hmm. the city of North Myrtle Beach, Marilyn Hatley. Mm -hmm. The mayor had contacted me about some funding, mm -hmm. and we presented it to the board, got the estimates, did all the homework, and we're helping uh, some half a million dollars to get that road paved, which is vital mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. community to have a back way out should the bridge ever be oh, a problem. Yeah. So they're gonna that road will be paved this year, this year, as I understand it. That is tremendous. So, so we help fund that and things of that nature. Oh yeah, yep. oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know, on all over Horry County, positions like that, appointed positions, markedly different probably than running for office, which you did more than once, <laughs> yeah. maybe even more than twice. Is that right? What was the service for ten years? On the North Myrtle yeah, Beach, uh, I'm not sure if it was eight or ten years. I ran three or four times, uh, and the people were very kind to me. I I never lost an election, but at that point in time, having been the governor's appointment to the other position, right, you couldn't be a dual office holder oh, yeah. in South Carolina under home rule. So mm -hmm. I had to to either not run anymore or resign from the water and sewer, and I felt the water and sewer was very vital to Ori County, right, and, right. It, and it was. So I had to give up. Give up your service that, as that, an yes. elected official. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Boy, Rayford. Yeah. Well, you know, when you think about service opportunities, and there's so many, we've got page after page of positions you've served or service you've made. One of the biggest things that comes, comes across on all these pages is your commitment. If you're going to serve on something, you're going to serve. You're not going to serve whenever it's yeah. good timing for you. You're going to be there whether it's good timing or not. And that was tremendous to see that in every aspect of almost every page of uh, items about you. What, what is it about when you accept a position, whether as a volunteer or even as an elected official, that uh, you're going to be there every time or almost every time? <laughs> well, uh, we, we've talked about it briefly, you know, but in 31 years in the, in the Lions Club, and I enjoyed the Lions Club for 31 years, I did have perfect attendance. Uh, perfect attendance? Yeah. For 31 years? Yeah. How often? Yeah. They meet what, quarterly? Yeah, we met every two weeks. Every two weeks? Yeah. My Lord. At that time. and uh, uh, But it was a good way to serve a community, and we had great projects in the North Myrtle Beach area uh, through the Ocean Drive Beach Lions Club, and it was it was uh, not easy to do sometimes, but, but we did. I missed one council meeting 
that I recall in the years that I served on the right. city council. Right. And I believe in 17 years I missed one water and sewer meeting. Uh, yeah, in 17 years. And I believe thus far in the 12 years I've served as chairman of the Horry County Transportation Committee, I think I missed one meeting. Wow. Uh, in that number of years. So. Great, but so oftentimes folks You're not serve, yeah. you ought to serve. Not to cut you off, but that aspect. So oftentimes folks will find this later in life. They'll learn those lessons from youth and say, well, you know, I'm 50 or 60 now. I'm now going to start doing things right and attend. Yeah. If you were in the Lions Club and, and for 31 years only missed one and they met every two weeks, you but figured out. Any. Oh, you missed none. Not at Had Lions perfect Club. attendance. Yeah. Yeah. And you all were meeting every two weeks. You had to find out a lot earlier than thir I mean, yeah. 31 years ago that this well, was the right thing to do. I, I can't even imagine being that young and saying, I'm yeah. going to be there yeah. every two weeks yeah. for this if I'm going to be active with this group. Well, you, it was almost every two weeks, and anybody in Lions Club can tell you, you can do a makeup. Right. You have to be there for the makeup. Right. And you have to do certain things. It's not easy. Right. So, but and, and I just felt, yeah. I just feel that a commitment is a commitment. Right. Uh, I think it was Vince Lombardi mm -hmm. that said, the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to his commitment to excellence. If you want to excel, you have to make a commitment. Did this come from a parent? Did this come from a loved one? What mentor shared that? Is this all out of Rayford Green? I mean, what, I don't know. Are your parents involved? I uh, don't know. Somebody, a brother, sister, Good somebody. Good discipline in yeah. parents, yeah. yeah. They, 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 yeah. They, they set the stage for this. Yeah, sure. That's tremendous. That's yeah. tremendous. Well, you know, obviously we, we talked about it uh, for some folks who may need to run off to work now or get family off to yeah. school. There's a phone number. Did you say it was the 390-8215? Yes. Is that the best number? 390-8215. Okay. And yeah. Tammy Eves, who was yeah. with us yesterday, the executive yeah. director, who just yeah. joined in September and has hit the ground running, it sounds right. like. Tammy's great. She yeah. is really uh, working hard, and she's got a tremendous job to keep us just to keep her foundation board oh, yeah. uh, going and all of us in the right direction, right. but yet on the same page oh, yeah. with what we've got going on. She's, she's doing a great job, and, and it, it's going to show uh, the benefits, I'm sure, later. Oh, yeah. She's, yeah. She spoke yesterday about y'all's website, laurashealth.org, and there's a lot of yeah. great information on there as well. Yeah. And it highlights just what you said earlier, that every penny, that you donate, whether it's $100, 1000 10000 or 100000 Obviously, some folks have really stepped up to the plate if in less yeah. than a year or right at a year, you all have already raised north of $1.3 million. But every right. penny is going right back into some oh, of the yes. needs. And the needs yeah. are not just here yeah. in Little River. The needs are also in Laura's. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. The needs yeah. are in both facilities. Yeah. When we think about uh, the expansion needs as they progress, you see, let's say five years from now, even having more needs here than just the 50 beds y'all are adding here over the next couple of years? I'm sure, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it won't be very long before we'll need 50 more. Mm -hmm. uh, we've just got to plan ahead and look ahead. Of course, you'll have to, you know, evaluate that when the time comes, right. whether it's four years or five years. But you've got to look ahead, mm -hmm. and and I feel like that. It won't be very long before it'll be, you know, 25 more beds, 50 right. more beds, right. uh, whatever the community, you know, supply and demand, and it's going to be here. It'll be here. I, we we were with Tim Brown, your president and CEO, right. here on yeah. Monday morning. He was kind enough to be here on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, the right. celebration of his birth. You know, as we sat here and thought through a lot, of, I asked him after the interview, we got Rayford coming in on Wednesday. What is something he likes to talk about? And he said, well, if he's not wearing a Gamecock tie, <laughs> yeah. he'll have something with garnet on. And I see he yeah. was right. Yeah. yeah. Your love of the Gamecocks go. Yeah. I think I saw on here you were Gamecock Club Member of the Year. What does I it was. take to become yeah. Gamecock Club Member of the Year, Raven? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, I was just really involved in, yeah. in, uh, in some things uh, with some Gamecock people and... Uh, one of the things, there was a young lad in the hospital in Charleston, I think it was, and I found out about it and gathered up some real football jerseys right. and some football game. He was a big Gamecock fan, this young man, 
from right. Conway, and I, I, I made it a point to get this young man some real Gamecock stuff, right. and 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 did some things of that nature for some young people, and uh, just support the club tremendously, you know, and, and try to help get new members and and uh, don't miss a game. Oh yeah. So you know, and I had been president of the Gamecock Club right. a few years prior to. Yeah. service to whatever club it is, whether it's the Lions Club, the Game Clock Club, or of course to the Laura Seacoast yeah. Healthcare Foundation. It's not all about games. Yeah. I mean, this is no. serious stuff to yeah. you. Well, somebody said, it, well, I don't think it was me, but somebody said that service to your fellow man is the rent you pay for the space you occupy on this earth, and I believe that. Those are great words. Good way to wrap. Thank Rayford, you. thanks so much for being with us this okay. morning. All right. And I have to say, I don't know if we're finished or not, but we're talking about the service and the years of service and not missing. But you have to have the support of your family. My wife and daughters were 100% behind all that I did and, and, and I gave in to, to the community. I had 100% support at home, and you have to have that. That means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned to more Carolina People with Rayford Vereen, member of the board here at the Laura Seacoast Healthcare Foundation. Coming up next. For successful men and women, so oftentimes it's all about them. He wouldn't even let me go to the close without saying, without a strong wife and supportive daughters, he couldn't have done any of it. We go to the close as I'm coming back here. He's saying we've, we should have gotten into Sea Haven Youth Home, his service for more than a quarter of a century in helping young, uh, countless boys and girls in this community, strengthening the Sea Haven Youth Home. It's not all about Rayford Vereen. It so easily could be. It's about service to groups service to mankind. You heard it in everything he said. 843-390-8215, 390-8215, or org. Take the time to learn more about the Loris Seacoast Healthcare Foundation. Rayford Doreen.